In the hallways, I would say my, my main job and Ms. Terrio's main job is to supervise, keep order the best we can, and students at this school overwhelmingly do a great job of following. You know, they know. Bell rings, you kind of go to the next place, and the day becomes a succession of classes, moving on to the next class, and of course we work better as a school when everyone's where they're supposed to be, everyone's following their schedules. The job of an assistant principal in terms of the hallways is to, is to just help out and make sure and supervise and make sure that things are orderly and people are going where they need to go. Behind the scenes is where I think it probably gets much more complex and the, the responsibilities are, are many and varied. Um, a typical day behind the scenes might involve anything from you know, pre-scheduled meetings that relate to the curriculum or that relate to upcoming events that we're planning for. And very often behind the scenes though are things that weren't scheduled for, things that came up, interpersonal conflicts between students, calls that come in with questions about something that happened at school or someone seeking clarification on a policy or again on an event that's coming up. So the behind the scenes stuff is varied. There's a lot of it. It takes on many different flavors. Favorite part of the job is definitely also one of the challenges of the assistant principal's job. There's so many students that are kind of under my responsibility and Ms. Terry's responsibility, two whole grades for each of us. So, you know, approximately 600 students. So the challenge is adequately and appropriately getting to know those students and um, really knowing the, uh, the people behind the names, right? And that's a process and it's a tough one um, when you're talking about so many kids. The best part of the job is, you know, and I worked for a long time as a teacher and, and really enjoyed um, getting to know those hundred or so kids who I was responsible for. The neat part about assistant principal, um, and again, it's, it's also one of the challenges, but the neat part is being able to see inside so many stories um, and really every student has his or her own story, and it's usually a really interesting or inspiring story. There are so many of those, um, and getting to know those and getting to be a part of those um, over time is really gratifying. And see, and, and I guess it means that is that is so because um, it, this is a place of so much growth, and to see where people were and where they get, even if there are some bumps along the way is really a gratifying thing. There is rarely any time I can think of sort of a new rule that, that, um, that comes directly from any one person and is put into place right away. Um, in just about any case I can think of, um, there are ongoing discussions all the time and they're usually at the level of myself and Ms. Terrio and Ms. Boynton. Maybe one of us is bringing to the table an idea on a new policy or a new way of handling, you know, any kind of issue. But it's often more involved than that. We have a leadership team that involves department heads, um, some policy decisions, lots of them in fact we would look to get input from faculty, input from parents, um, and certainly input from students. So it really depends on what kind of um, what kind of decision. You know if it's something about who can park where, it might be less urgent to like get input from lots of people. We're just trying to figure out something that works. If it's something that really affects a student's everyday experience at school, um, then I would have a big say in what those are, um, but I wouldn't be able to unilaterally say this is how we're going to do it from now on.